What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we have the 2021 Panini Select Basketball Retail Mega Boxes from Target. Done the Walmart ones already, so if you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. Link will be down below in the description. Pulled some cool cards so far, so hopefully we continue to. As always, like the video, subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on, and share and comment if you want to help support us and uh, all that we do here. Especially the likes and subs, always appreciate it and helps us out a ton here. So um, Also, channel memberships are live if you want to show some extra support, get bonus content like videos, badges, emojis, things like that for a little monthly fee and help support all that we do here. Those are available. If you're on desktop, there should be a join button. If you're on mobile, there should be a little I here as well as the first link in the description down below. I should have the link there to join. So yeah, mega boxes from Target. I like the Walmart ones. I like them a lot, actually. So I'm hoping that these ones are pretty good ones here. And uh, let's take a look at the format. Now I'm curious, what are your guys' thoughts on select retail? In the grand scheme of things, are you happy or unhappy they made it? I think it was expected. And if you think about it, out of the big three, this one didn't have retail. And now it does. So now it's kind of just on the same tier as everything in terms of the format you get for the most part. So it's not like it um, got some its own format that none of the other ones had. It just uh, joined Prism and, and Optic, really, in terms of getting that retail one, the retail treatment, which we've seen with a lot of products. So it's not like it's done something, uh, they've done something to select that we've never seen before, right? That uh, might have hurt it. But curious on your thoughts, drop it down below what you think. But the SRP is 40. Now, I believe the Walmarts are 50. So Target and Walmart, different uh, prices for theirs. Resale is 85 to $90. And there's four cards per pack, eight packs per box. Once again, those eight, uh, let's see, eight exclusive mega box, red, white, Green cracked ice prisms, red, white, green, little Christmas colors there. Cool. So uh, looking forward to those. One per pack, obviously. Eight packs, and then eight of those total. Red, white, green cracked ice prisms, exclusive to the mega boxes. So here's everything you can find on the back. Let me actually take this off so we can see it better. But uh, there's a nice, uh, I say nice high ceiling on these. It's not going to be the easiest to hit them, but there are big things to find in here. So I mean, like prism, optic high retail, but I think people still have a, a decent. Maybe at now, not the best, but decent uh, kind of standing, has decent standing in the hobby, I'd say, in terms of products, they're popular sets that people like to open. But um, this one has the, probably the highest ceiling out of the three of them. So here's everything you can find here. This concourse, you get the silvers, the blues, those parallels there, same tiger, elephant being two of the rare ones. And then concourse, get the teal, white, pink, and the black, white, gold. Those are the one of ones, the 49 is the teal, white, pink. And then same thing, you see the teal, white, pink go to 25 for premier level. And they go to 10 for con uh, for courtside, that is. And then um, there's a bunch of inserts here, autographs. You can see the gold and black parallel. So you can pause it for a second if you want. Same as the other formats we've done, which is blasters and hangers. So the mega boxes, I always like. Hopefully they have some good stuff. Big box, just a few packs. Take them out. Hopefully we pull an animal print parallel. We haven't pulled one yet, but we've been trying to. And there's a side retail exclusive inserts front again and there we go so what do you guys think is the best format of this one here we go hoping we pull some cool stuff but i'm, I'm enjoying it a lot of cool cards you can pull from here some of those big chase once again the animal uh, the animal print ones the teal white i think pink was it something like that and then the um black white and uh gold ones so here's the base if you haven't seen it as always if you guys haven't already drop a like subscribe Share, comment, helps us a ton. And also turn the notification bell on to be notified every time we post. So there's the first look at those parallels there. D'Angelo Russell, nice little Christmas colors there. Red, white, and green. I like the ice. And, <laughs> oh boy. Is it that kind of day again? As a bookie, as a bookie. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Hmm. If you're wondering, I pulled like, I probably pulled a thousand as a bookies. We have a, we have a list of guys that we pull every single time as a bookie, Oturu, Naji, Wiseman, uh, someone else who I'm probably forgetting. I don't know. I just don't know. Yeah. So a lot of cool stuff to find here and, uh, interested in seeing what we're hearing, what your uh, favorite select retail format is, or maybe you don't like any select retail formats, right? Patrick Williams, that's a nice one. Surprised it was Patrick Williams and not you know who. Cole Anthony, nice card. All right, and then Joel and Beats, like company. Put that there. And in the background, we got Jaron and Ant. Jaron is the court side from 1819. That's the zebra, kind of the rare case it ones. And then that Ant is from our most recent 
mail day, which was a very big one. If you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. Really good stuff in there. I traded my Steph Curry, my super short print Steph Curry auto that we pulled from Retail vs. Hobby Hoops. Absolutely amazing card. Wasn't sure if I was going to move it, and they got a great offer. And so traded it for that card, plus another one, which is bigger than that card. Really big card. So if you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. Also got a uh, package from an NBA team. NBA team hooked us up with something sweet. LeBron James, I'll take that. Now going to be rocking number six. And... Oh! I like that. That's a good pack. Exactly what you want to see. And you know what? The centering left to right is actually good. Which is odd. And I'm suspicious now. Not gonna, not gonna complain about it. I will take it though. Very odd to see a, a parallel, well centered Tyrese Halliburton. I'll take that 11 times out of 10. Very nice. This is the blue prism. Retail has the blue base to kind of differentiate it from hobby. I don't know how I feel about that still. Curious what your thoughts are on it. I don't know. The blue looks kind of weird. It's such a weird color to choose too, a weird way to differentiate it, make it blue. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, did I put something in here? It shouldn't go in here. I thought I saw something peeking through. Yeah, I did. Troel and bead. Oturu. Guys, if anyone's doubting whether or not we get the guys, stop doubting. We're going to get them. We always get them. Drogic. There we go. Now, can we get something? We haven't gotten a single numbered card yet. Not one. We've gotten some really good parallels. And we've done just really well in general. But that's all the non-numbered parallels. And uh, another one that a lot of you guys probably haven't seen is we did our member only, uh, my member exclusive video. That was, oh, I think we have a course coming up. Uh, that was a select retail battle. And we actually pulled some really cool cards from that one too. Just bumped the camera trying to fix the camera. Funny enough. Let's pull this back one first. Peyton Pritchard and the light's going to gonna spaz out let me try to get that to focus a little better and that might be better there we go Peyton Pritchard let's see can we get a rookie 50% chance in conclusion no <laughs> Oladipo we definitely have gotten Oladipo before what are the odds that out of the hundred guys you get Oladipo twice I wish I had that little uh could pop up a little picture of Old Depot on the, on the floor looks up. It's like, that's how we're feeling right now, man. Old Depot. All right. The printer's nice, though. Printer's nice. We've hit him a lot. Maybe I'm mixing up some of our Pac Man break pulls. But we've gotten our fair share of Old Depot co uh, court sides, that is. So we had hope, and then Old Depot. 50% chance. But we got Old Depot twice. Ben Simmons. The saga continues. Malachi Flynn. I will take that. Christmas Flynn. And Isaiah Stewart still, right? I will take that. So this has actually been a pretty solid box. Now, obviously, paying 85, 90 bucks, it's not cheap at all. But especially compared to a lot of things right now, and some stuff is just r ridiculously expensive. I don't even know how to describe it. It's not of this earth. But in comparison to that, it is decently affordable compared to that. In a day and age where everything costs an arm and a leg and an arm and a leg. This might be a rookie here. Oh, Kyra Lewis Jr. courtside. I like that. So, yeah, all blue everything. I mean, they didn't give the action backgrounds for some reason. Malachi Flynn again, which I will take. And Dante DiVincenzo. All right. So, yeah, I like the courtside, but I, I'm kind of confused why they didn't give the action background like they have in the past. I mean, at some point, you had to kind of Photoshop the guy off the background. Why don't you just keep the background? I don't know. It makes no sense. And they've done it every single year that I can remember, at least. That They've always had the kind of the action background. You, know, you see some random dude in the back. You see the court. Especially since Prism and Optic also don't have it. Now they all don't have it. I don't know. Maybe it's just this year, but I'm not too sure what's going on. Last pack for this first box. Oladipo. All right, you know what? Add, he's not a rookie, but add him to the, add him to the squad. Oladipo. Bogey and... Van, van Lockdown. All right. Well, the first one was solid, but the question is, will one win or will two win? This is one. This is two, obviously. One did solid. One did solid. Yeah. I mean, let me uh, look through that. Actually, no. You know what? One did pretty good. It's, gonna, it's not going to be easy to beat one. Not going to be easy. No, yeah. Actually, yeah. Especially the Halliburton. They're going to 
two is gonna have to put something up pretty uh pretty special to beat that actually that was a solid solid one love the halliburton very interested to see how he does this coming year like every other guy in this class but here's box two so do you like target or the walmart megas better which one do you think is better let me know me personally let me open this one and then we'll see let's let's open this one first and then we'll give our final verdict empty box eight packs for all you know there could be a one of one anthony edwards courtside just lurking in here and never know right well we're out to find out but they are in here and it's just nice to have a high ceiling for retail because usually they don't usually it's just like they have a set kind of list of parallels and they're never like one of ones things like that and this one does have one of ones probably not gonna hit them but they are out there oh we got ball let's go yeah and bradley Beal. okay well let's keep going i wonder if we're ever gonna hit an animal parallel we've opened a decent amount of select retail probably i don't know how many boxes but a lot haven't even sniffed uh an animal one yet and manual quickly very nice very nice trey young select numbers that's a maybe that's a good sign this pac-man's favorite player lucky trey quickly all right next one up these packs open really easily too just put a little pressure and all of a sudden whoop. Open, open sesame. All right. You've seen so much of just more of the same. Not no number cards yet. No uh, super short print parallels. It's just all been kind of the same thing, which is unfortunate. But I have seen a lot of you guys have pulled them, which is a good sign. Kyle Lowry and KP, the new pandemic P. All right. Last. Uh, actually, you know what? I won't say that yet. We still have a decent amount left. Saw some color and then I realized that's our, uh, our guaranteed color. Denny and Vernon Carey Jr. That's pretty typical. Zeke Naji. Oh, I can't even. I mean, I was kind of half kidding at the beginning. And Vassell. But we really do pull all these same guys in every single box. It's a little weird. So we're just waiting on Wiseman. Got Azabuki. Got Oturu. We just landed Najee. Yeah, we're just looking for Wiseman, I think. And uh, maybe I'm forgetting one. I think those are kind of the four. And then we have kind of a flex spot for some other guys who show up a decent amount, but not as frequent as the other guys. Jaren. My guy. And Zion. All right, that's a nice card. I'll take a Zion. Back to that uh, little off-centering. And then Compazzo. You know what? He, might, he has a good chance to make that list. He has a good chance. Last three. Let's see if box two can beat box one or if box one. Big Brother is the winner. Come on, super short print par uh, parallel. Super short print parallel. All it takes is one of those. All right, let's just let's see what we have here. Kongwu. CP0. What is this? Oh! That's a nice card. <laughs> Ooh. Rookie selections. Green ice. Hmm. All right. That's a nice card. Corner isn't great. But that's a really nice card. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. Hello, Mello. Charlotte Hornets. Lamello Ball. And guys, honestly, don't get used to this. We're not going to hit this guy for another, like, four months when we'll still be getting 2021 products knowing how things have been going we'll still be getting it'll be 2023 our final product for 2021 is finally here nice little ball oh that's, this got real interesting real quick i want i'm not sure i'm not sure i'm trying to think we'll do a recap at the end and see but i am not sure that that's nice that's nice i like that a lot all right court sorry not a rookie unfortunately tyler hero and splash mountain brooke lopez Josh Green and he he's a contender for that that saw him like every single box player list of players final pack moment of truth let's see 
let's see. Let's see what's in this final, final pack. How will this go down? All right. Do we have a silver? Do we have, I think we have five cards in here. One, two, three, four. Yeah, five, we've got bonus card. Tyrese Maxey. Kemba Walker. Obi Toppin. Okay, that's a good card. RJ Barrett is maybe another same team or no or what? And Obi Toppin. Okay, all right. I mean, there you go. No James Wiseman. Interesting. I'm sure if I one of these base cards, he's stuck to the back, something like that. But there we go. Let's uh sleeve these up and then get into recap my final thoughts rating review. And uh, once again, you guys like these videos, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Helps us out so, so, so much. And uh, ring the notification bell, share a comment. Memberships are also available. Little eye there and first link in the description. So this got real interesting. I'm not, I, I'm not sure, to be honest. I'll leave it to you guys. Let's see who actually won this battle. This got real interesting real fast. So box one. Got Malachi Flynn. We got, let me get that a little better. Malachi Flynn, Kyra, Stewart, Malachi Flynn, Peyton Pritchard, Tyrese Halliburton, LeBron. All right, we're going to have to, I don't know. I have too many cards in this one. Um, Cole Anthony, Patrick Williams, as a bookie, of course. And then here's kind of everything else. We got a court side, and it was, it was Victor Oladipo. And uh, those are our two reciting. So those of you maybe missed it earlier. But just because you missed it, doesn't mean we didn't get one. We always get one. So here's one. And then let's go through two. And then we'll hold them side by side. Everyone can put up some contenders. All right. We got two Obi Toppins. Josh Green. Lamelo Green Ice. Which I really like. That is a nice one. Lamelo Ball. Mm -mm -mm. Nice card. The Cell. Zeke Naji. Manual Quickly. Maxi. And Avdia. I think that's about it. One, two, three. All right, so let's pick our final three from this one. I'm going to go with Lomelo. We're going to take quickly. Oh, it's kind of close. Let's go with uh, go with the Obi Silver. Yeah, why not, right? Oh, I picked four. All right, let's go with these three. And then uh, from this one, they're nominating definitely Halliburton. Let's do Isaiah Stewart. And then uh, let's, do, let's do Cole. Those guys, great cards, but let's nominate these three. So these guys get their uh, their spot on the final stage. And uh, which one was better, box one or box two? A lot of good stuff. This one probably had more quantity and good cards. This one probably had more quality, especially with that mellow at the top. But that's close. That's as close as it gets. So I'm a fan of the Megas. I really like Select Retail. A lot of good stuff. And there is that ceiling. We haven't kind of uh, gotten any of those kind of rare cards to get, Super Short Prints. They're out there though. I've seen you guys pull them. So uh, hopefully we can pull some soon and hopefully you guys can pull some too. But let's go from one to 10. I like these a lot. I'm going to give them, and it, it's very similar to, it's similar, but it's also not similar to the Walmart Megas, which I think gave like a, a rating in the low eights, I think it was. And I think I'm going to say this one's um 8.25. I might be the same or maybe a little lower than what I gave the uh, other Megas, but I'll say 8.25 for this one. I think it's, it's really nice not too expensive price wise compared to other things of course that is and you have a ceiling you have some cool uh stuff you can pull and the box have been taking care of us from what i've seen so fun stuff which box won vote down below and that does it for this one stay tuned for tons of stuff more products are finally starting to release after the longest time and i'm excited to get into those show you guys this one so stay tuned to the channel and uh, that's it guys thanks for watching like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys later